And my next guest has starred in so many films and TV shows, from The Mother to Last Tango in Halifax, and most recently in Sanditon, which returns, I'm glad to say, for a third series next month. But right now, Anne Reid is back in a new true crime drama. It's called The Sixth Commandment. Started last night, continues this evening. Well, Anne joins me now. Lovely to see you. Hi. Always good to see you. Of course, this is a true life story, so there's a bit yeah. more... I guess, a little bit more responsibility because you have to tell yes. this story, don't you? Yes, I didn't think about... You do think about the responsibility of, play, of playing mm. a real person. But in the end, it's really what... Sarah Phelps has just written a wonderful yeah, script and yeah. so you just have to, to stick with that. Of course. Um, it's, a, it's a very sad and frightening story about this... Well, first about Tim Spall's character, Peter mm. Parker, who is preyed on by this young man. And then um, uh, my character, he moves in on me mm. and uh, convinces them both that he's in love with them and drugs them and tries to kill them and get their money. It's horrendous. It's I mean, horrendous. It is a horrendous yeah. and shocking case. I remember it very, very yeah. well. It's attracted a lot of publicity, yeah. actually, because the st some of I, I understand now that some of his students, Peter Farquhar was a teacher at Stowe, yeah. and some of his students have um, have been talking to the newspapers and things. It's just, it's just incredibly, incredibly, incredibly sad. I know. Oh, um, did you meet any of his family? Did you meet yes, any? Yes, I met. Yeah. Um, I met uh, Anne Marie, who plays my niece. Right. Uh, Annabelle plays I, we, my niece. We just saw. She's yeah, lovely, we just saw. Yes. Yeah. And um, I met um, Peter Farker's brother. Yes, right. on the set. I mean, it must be weird, mustn't it? I don't know what I'd feel about having my relatives played by, I know. but they seem desperately to want the story to be told. I mean, there was a documentary about it, I wasn't remember. there? But they yeah. want the story to be told. And I have to say, I think, because it doesn't mean anything to anybody who doesn't act, but the director, Saul Dib, is wonderful and um, gave us all confidence mm. and he's just done a great job. It's fantastic. What a career mm. you're having. Sorry? You're having an amazing career. I mean, you just, you never no, stop. No, I haven't, actually. No, you have. No, I'll argue with you about okay, that. OK, don't argue with me. I'll argue with you. <laughs> um, I, I, the last 20 years have been great. Mm. I mean, before that, you know, it was all right. I jogged along. I always worked, but I never got leading parts yeah, and yeah. things. People say, you've had a wonderful career. Um, I would have liked to have played leading parts, like, 30 right. years ago, but sure. I never did. I always... But that's kind of kept me going in a funny sort of way. What was yeah. the turning point then, do you think? Victoria. Was it? Was it? And Sally Wainwright. Yes, yes, of course. I think I think Victoria, uh, when I did, um, when we did, well, her sketches and oh, dinner later, suddenly everybody realised that I could do comedy. And that, exactly. you see, when Vic, when Vic, God bless her heart, when you do something on television and nobody sees it, well, you know, that's a waste of time. But with Vic, everybody watches well, everybody watch Victoria Woods. And suddenly, Lovely. you get the searchlight on yeah, you, yeah. you know, the spotlight on you, and it's very good. No, oh, Dinner Ladies huge. was brilliant. It was just so so many layers to that show. You know, you can watch it again and again and again. What? And you find, Dinner Ladies? Yeah, and you find something funny. I know. Funny air, you know, it just gets better as you I watch it more. I look so young. You, well, you still, <laughs> come on, you still do. And I know, and I oh, promised God. you I wouldn't say what your age was. I promised you, and I'm not going to. No. I, I, but I, I look at myself on the screen, I think I look like a 200-year-old lizard. Yeah, I really you do. Don't. I should be in a case at the V&A. <laughs> yeah. Behave yourself, behave yourself. <laughs> We're going to see you back in Sanditon, which is fantastic. I it's love doing that. It's got such a huge and such a loyal fan base because everybody yeah. wanted this. In America, there were, I think they got 50,000 signatures because we weren't going to do it anymore. Oh, I'm glad you are. I'm I, glad you are. Well, no, no, we've got, it's going out. Yeah, we've done that's it. it. We've Done it's it, done, yeah. but still, at least we'll have that, and that's that's coming yeah. out. You've got a love interest, a, a young whippersnapper um, called James Bond. Yes, Jimmy will like that. He's been <laughs> called a young whippersnapper. He like that. I know, but that's um, great. Yeah, we've worked together a lot, Jimmy. Yeah, and I. of course. Yeah. And I love, and I've seen you in cabaret, and I love your cabaret show that oh, you I'm do. Oh, I'm thrilled. No, you it's it's that. it's really good. It's absolutely charming, and everybody walks out with a smile on their face. Oh, that's nice. And it's you. I you tell stories. It. You sing. somebody's. Somebody's going to have to tell me. I said, my friends, you'll have to tell me when to stop. No. Because I don't want people sort of talking behind their hands, saying, oh, my God, she should stop now. No. But I love it. And it makes you feel good. It's like singing makes you feel... 
good. It's like exercising. Yeah, yeah, it is. And if you're spreading joy to everybody, then that's fantastic. I do. You will never stop, will you? There's no way. You're unstoppable. You're just well, keep I going. Well, I hope not. Mm. But you never know. I don't want to become a joke, but I probably will. No, not at all. Not, not in any way whatsoever. Because we want to see... Because there are still stories to be told. We want to see you doing a Christmas special, at least, of Last Tango in Halifax. That Halifant. would be nice. Well, you have to get in touch with Sally for that. Sally don't writes have it, control of course. Over that. I know, but you don't be up for it. But this part, this part in, in, uh, in, last, in The Six Commandments mm. was one of the best parts I've ever had. Yes. Really? Yeah, Gosh, I think that's so. a lot coming from you yeah. when you think of all the things yeah, that you've done. It's wonderful. And The Six Commandment is, is it Thou Shalt Not Kill is the Sixth Commandment? Sorry? The Sixth Commandment is Thou Shalt Not well, Kill. Well, presumably, Must yes, be. I'm not really. This lady is very religious. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And then um, you're off to New York, I believe. With Carolyn Quentin uh, to paint the town <laughs> well, rainbow colours. We hope, we'd, we'd, perhaps, yes, she's booked the tickets, yes. Oh, you're going? It's yes. not for work, she is takes it? takes control. Is it just for fun? <laughs> is it just yeah. for, there's the two we've of been, you. Know? We've been before together. We had a really good time. I'll bet you did. Well, yes, we did. Enjoy every single there's second. There's lots of cocktails in sardines. Oh, mm. Cocktails, yes, exactly. <laughs> you two will be great fun to have cocktails with. Mm. The Sixth Commandment continues tonight. Nine yes. o'clock on BBC One, and I promised Anne I wouldn't say her age, but all I will say, if you play bingo, two fat ladies, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Anne, thank you.